What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition? Who knows? Let's find out. Anywho, in our last episode, it was a very special one because, yeah, we traded in Pokemon uh, Stadium 2 in the N64 version. And uh, we traded for a Pokemon that was desperately needed for this one right here. And someone that I, I actually want to actually have on this team. And that is our good old buddy, Fluffbolt the Mareep. Yes, I know, I know. I've been using this Pokemon for quite some time. But, hey, I'm trying to go off of native Pokemon right here. I'm trying to do some stuff. And, yeah, you know, Mareep is one of these Pokemon that I wanted to grab. As you guys can see, it's an Electric-type Pokemon, and yes, we are actually going to be going with Rocky the Onyx as another Pokemon option for our team, and because of our trade with former Reap, we have managed to get the Metal Coat from Pokemon Gold all the way here. Now, some of you guys are wondering, like, okay, so why didn't you trade Rocky to become a Steelix? We're waiting on a little something right here. Just a little something. It won't take that long, guys. Trust me. I'm being strategic. Kinda. I don't even know. But yes, we got Rocky right here. Another option right there. Now, there is one big thing that we need to actually, like, keep in mind. If you do trade Pokemon, you just gotta be careful with the leveling. Because if you go beyond level 10 or maybe 15 at an early, you know, stage right here with no badges... Chances are these Pokemon will not listen to you, so that is where Tornado comes in because, well, this Pokemon is going to take the brunt of the whole battles going into the Sprout Tower, and Chico, you know, Chico will be doing his thing, Fluffbolt as well, and then Rocky. We'll see what ends up happening, guys. So, let's go right ahead, and let's get to the Sprout Tower. Yes, enough talking. Stop getting in my way, god dang it. And let's move on right here. So here is the Sprout Tower in honor of the Bell Sprouts. Talk to this guy. He's like, only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Thanks for letting me know. And the majority of these trainers have Bell Sprouts, grass type Pokemon. This is where Tornado comes in and just shines. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Here we have. Sage Nico wanting to battle, and he's going to be coming out with a Bellsprout. There we go. Okay, Bellsprout, what's up? How's it going? Let's go, Tornado. Now, I could have just traded a Tornado or a Spearow from my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough, but I kind of figured that, yeah, that would defeat the purpose of, you know, trying to get these Pokemon to listen to me because, well, since I captured this game in, or this Pokemon in game, it will have a higher chance of listening to me beyond the level 15 levels and all that stuff. So here we go, Peg Attack yet again, and Bell Sprout has been defeated. You see, that's right, Tornado is shining, and here comes another, you know, Bell Sprout and all that stuff. Now we will have that occasional, uh, that occasional hoot hoot. And if you guys don't know what hoot hoot is, yes, hoot hoot. We get them at night, which we will eventually get to at some point, maybe in a few hours or so. And look at that, Tornado grows to level 8. It's pretty cool. Fantastic, and Sage Nico has been defeated, and yeah, look at that, okay. So another thing too, guys, that I want to keep, uh, keep in mind is this team, look at that, Paralysis Heal. I'm building this team off of, of, off of like, you know, Pokemon that I've wanted to use for quite some time, and what else? Oh yes, native Pokemon rules uh, still apply in this whole thing right here too, and uh, it's actually coinciding with Pokemon Yellow, my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough that I did earlier this year. All of this is going into when we go into Pokemon, uh, what was it called, uh, Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. In fact, I could just start on Stadium right now if I wanted to. So, there we go, pick attack, Bellsprout, defeated. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Alright, Tornado, let's go, and here comes another Bellsprout, so let's go ahead and just uh, continue on our little, little battles right here. Let's go with pick attack, pick attack, how's it going? And there we go, Bellsprout has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, and well, let's see, he's coming out with another Bell Sprout, so guess what? Tornado is gonna take this. Yeah, buddy. What up, Tornado? How's it going? Pick attack, pick and two, yeah, there we go. And there we go, Bell Sprout has been defeated. Okay. 
And Sage Chow has been defeated as well. Yeah, he, he thanks us for beating him, which is kind of weird right here. And, well, we're going to be finding another staircase. And if you go back here, you're going to be finding another item. Look at that. X accuracy. And, well, let's go right ahead and find ourselves another sage. Sway like leaves in the wind. Hmm. It's kind of a... Or, it's kind of foretelling... Or it's, he's kind of foreseen a little bit of something right here. And here we have Edmund. And, yeah. Coming out with this bell sprout, looking uh, pretty cool. Here comes a tornado. Tornado. Let's go with a peg attack. And this peg attack is looking like yes, a win. And there we go. Tornado grows a level nine. And let's see what happens right here. Here comes a bell sprout. Let's continue on right here. Now, eventually, we're gonna have to get to Marie at some point. It has to learn a thunder uh, thunder shock attack. Just to help us out in this next battle that we gotta. And well, here comes Bellsprout with a, well, we defeat Bellsprout with a peg attack. Don't know what I'm talking about right there. And here comes another Bellsprout. Tornado. EF5. There we go. Let's get with the peg attack. And well, this peg attack does its thing because Bellsprout no more. And bam. Look at that. Sage Edmund has been defeated and yes, he is weak. Kinda weak. It's more like a type disadvantage, okay? Not really weak, but type disadvantage, and it's a Pokemon statue. It looks very distinguished. It's just a bell sprout. So here we come to the end of the road, and we found ourselves another potion. Nice. And well, let's go right ahead and continue battling. I trained to find alignment in Pokemon. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, you can actually capture Pokemon in this this area right here. It's just, I believe at nighttime. Yeah, it, it has to be at nighttime where. Yeah, it has to be at nighttime. You will get Raditas and you will get Gastlies. So keep that in mind. And well, look at that, Bill Sprout. Not looking pretty cool right there. And here comes a growth attack right here. Okay, Tornado, you really, uh. You're really looking uh, pretty good right there. And that Bill Sprout has been defeated. Alrighty, look at that. Okay. And Jin from Tekken has been defeated. Okay, so this is where it gets a little tricky. Completely forgot what kind of Pokemon this guy may have. So we're going to do a little switch training with Fluffbolt. The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. You don't say. Hmm. Okay, so here we go, taking on Sage Neil wanting to battle, and he's coming out with a Bell Sprout. So I kind of messed up right there a little. It was probably the next two. Okay, all right, so. Lesson learned, and here is Fluff Volt in its base form. So let's go back to Tornado. It can take the attack. And, well, Tornado. Looking like a million bucks. Here comes the Vine Whip attack. That would have maybe hurt uh, Fluff Volt a little. So let's go, Peck Attack. And that nearly defeats Bell Sprouts. Here comes another Vine Whip and a Vine Whip. And that doesn't really do much. So here comes the Peck Attack again. And there you go, Bellsprout has been defeated. And there's some more points. And look at that, Fluffle grows to level 7. While Tornado grows to level 10. Alright. And yes, we have defeated Sage Neil. Yeah, he's not so happy right now. Looks like so it's training for us. Okay, let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust him a lot, thank you very much. So here we go. Taking on Sage Troy. Sage Troy looking like uh, he wants to take us on with a Bell Sprout right here. So let's go with Fluff Volt. And hopefully, after this one, it actually learns a new move or something like that. Probably. Alright, let's go, Tornado. Take a hit. There's a Vine Whip. But not that effective. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so here goes a Peck Attack. And this Peck Attack nearly defeats Spellsprout, so here comes Vine Whip. And that doesn't really do much, so here we go again with the Peck Attack yet again. And there goes Bellsprout. Okay! We are boosted, and Fluffle has grown to level 8. It still hasn't learned to move. Crap Basket's on a Crapsicle Sick. Okay, so we are gonna have to switch train. Yeah. And we don't have an Electric type attack. So here is Hoot Hoot, a Pokemon that you would normally find at nighttime. I think we're going to get to nighttime in a few. 
And yeah, we're gonna be switching out right here because, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not going to work out. I probably should have gone with Rocky. All right, Tornado, let's go. Here comes a growl attack. All right, show it who the real ro or show it who the real bird type Pokemon is or the flying type. And ooh, nearly defeats Hoot Hoot. Here comes a Foresight. And Tornado has been identified, I guess. And there you go. He identifies as a Pokemon, and bam. So it looks like we need another level to actually get this Pokemon to learn Thunderstruck. But look at this right here. This thing is waving left and right, just like in the anime. Hmm. I wonder how, how the tower actually feels. Now, going forward right here, you're going to see Silver getting, getting really rough with the Elder. He's like, you are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools who battle about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can, can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. And, well, there he goes with the escape rope. Yeah, that guy, he's got some screws loose. And, well, look at that. We found ourselves an escape rope. Pretty cool. Look at that. Okay. Anywho, we got this guy right here. And it looks like we're going to be switch training. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is the place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds and build the bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the times between your Pokemon and you. Okay, so here we go. Another battle. And we're taking on Sage Lee with an eye, and he's coming out with a Bell Sprout. Best believe this Bell Sprout's gonna be a little stronger. Well, level 7. And a Fluffolt is looking like a Fluffolt, so we gotta switch it out to Tornado right here. You mean to tell me Fluffolt would have grown a level? He would have battled or something, probably. So there you go, growth attack, special attack has grown, but guess what, Tornado has a peck attack. Look at this. And, uh, well, that was super effective, here comes that Vine Whip. And remember guys, uh, the special, I guess it was special and physical attacks have not split yet. It wouldn't take until probably the next generation or two? I don't know. Comment down below guys, let me know. And look at that, Fluffvolt has grown to level 9 and learn Thundershock, a move desperately needed for what's to come, and here comes a Hoot Hoot, so, guess what? Time to unleash the Fluffvolt and its mighty power. So here is Hoot Hoot, a flying type Pokemon, level 10. Again, we're gonna have to be careful with, oh, crap baskets. Yeah, I was a little trigger happy with the whole pressing the button there, so we're gonna go with the Tackle Attack. Not the best one. That's just a warning shot. So here comes another tackle from me. No static, but guess what? Bluff Volt using a Thundershock attack right here. And that nearly defeats Hoo Hoo right there. So let's go ahead and do it again. And oh my god. We got a Forest Sight right there. So here we go. Thundershock for the win. Say goodbye to Hoo Hoo. Let's get it's having a hoot right there. And bam, level 10, Fluff Volt. Nearly grows to level 11. And, well, Bellsprout's about to come out. You know what? Chico needs to make its uh, debut, or not its debut, but its episode. It needs to be in a few episodes, so... Let's bring out both... Let's bring out both the uh, grass Step Pokemon right here. Go with the Tackle Attack. And, well, that was pretty good. Okay. And, well, its Special Attack went up again, so let's go again with another Tackle Attack. Bellsprout. Keeping its, uh... Oh wow, critical hit. It is uh, it is staying alive right there. And, ooh, nearly defeats Bellsprout, so here comes a Vine Whip attack. And well, let's go right again for another tackle attack, and well, Bellsprout has been defeated. Look at that, Sage Lee has been defeated. Ah, excellent. And yes, we're gonna be getting some money and all that stuff. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM, and bam. We grab ourselves the HM05, which is Flash. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. 
But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from the Violet City Gym. Okay, so normally I would be using the escape rope for this whole thing, but I did re like I did find out about a, a, li a small little fact that will be useful for another episode. So we're going to be getting out the, the regular way, the long way. So I'll be right back with you when we're stepping outside, guys. Alrighty, guys, so we're stepping outside. Violet City, how's it going? Okay, so in our next episode, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Violet, or the Pokemon Gym here in Violet City. We got a bone to pick with Faulkner right here. Faulkner with an A-L, not A-U, because I usually misspell it and all that stuff. But yes, we're going to be going into the Pokemon Gym battle. So... Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to have a lot of fun. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right there. If you guys want to join and catch the exclusive or the members' exclusive Pokemon Silver Walkthrough, come in in November, I believe, yeah. Go ahead and sign up right there. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. See you guys.